Right, you've got one, one chest full of uh, embalming liquids and uh, powders and potions and stuff, which are toxic. This is what helped uh, put Morikawa and Jotaro on their, on their backs. You have one that's got body parts that have been preserved, which come out of the uh, 11 human and three dog bodies you've got. Mm. Which you managed to sort out. Uh, you've got uh, a box full of um, physician's tools, as I've called them. You know, We'd call them surgeon's tools. Bone saws, and, uh, suture needles and thread, and, that sort of, and scalpels and um, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you've got the, the last box has got three sets of once what were once superior peasant guard, but can't be considered to be that at the moment. A copper bowl, which is magical, but nothing else. A dagger, which uh, is enchanted with uh, essentially level two um, water, water blessing, which adds plus two to your deafness saving throw in this case. Ooh, that dagger is looking for that. That's the dagger, yeah. It's, that's the curvy dagger. It's curvy on both ends. Ooh. So it looks like a bit like a, a multiple S. We'll be fighting over that. There's a few of us dagger users. But maybe you will, maybe you won't. We'll worry about that in a minute. And the last item is a gold gem with a black... Sorry, a gold ring with a black gem in it. And that's uh, got a very minor um, soil spell. Okay. Uh, and it essentially, it grants you plus one armor class. So, the classic ring of plus one protection. Oh, wow. Oh. Hmm. Huh. Wow. That's a priceless item for anybody in any game. <laughs> it, uh, it, it's not worth a great deal. Hmm. It's, it is, like, mechanically, I mean. Oh, it, it, it's better than having none. This is yeah. true. Yeah. Great, great for one of our, our Shigenjals. <laughs> Is that anybody can wear it? And just increase anybody's armor class, yeah. Just a class. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ring. You don't have to attune it or anything like that. Same okay. With, same with the dagger as well. Anybody proficient with the dagger, it's good. Well, anybody can use it. I suppose, yeah. Uh, being proficient with the dagger would be better. Yeah, uh, yeah. But in this instance, you would need some specialized training because it's not a tanto. Okay. Ah, oh, right. It's not a tanto, yeah. It was a, what do you call it? An Iguchi, is that the one? No, it's not an Iguchi. It, it's a sort of dagger that none of you have ever seen before because it's foreign. Oh. oh. Filthy Korean magic. <laughs> Korean blood magic. Uh, it, it does have a proper name, but I can't think of it at the moment. Kevin. Uh, it might be, is it a Chris? Uh, it might be a Chris. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. Uh, Copper Bowl, you said, was School of Fire. Oh, did I? Yes. I noted it down uh, on the loot tab 34A. Box clothes, brackets, school of wood. Unusual dagger, magic, school of soil. Ring with black stone, magic, school of wood. Copper bowl, magic, school of fire. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, I lied to you, sir. Oh, 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 oh. Quick retcon. Uh, no, you, you, yeah, you, basically, what, take, I, take I, what's I, actually in the note, because... I yep. had forgotten what I'd actually said, so I made it up as I went along. That's fine. It makes more sense this way as well. Of course. Okay, I've added all that to the loot list. Just looking at chest one, um, chest two, and chest three, and remembering when Tim ch turned this feudal fantasy Japan campaign into a grindhouse horror scenario. <laughs> <laughs> with vampires and 70 dead bodies and boxes of yeah, well, organs. <laughs> uh, Shooting Doji is a classic Japanese monster. Oh, yeah. It's just not normally as messy as this. I will be. I, I mean, I've yet what's the body count? 70 plus? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I think it was 17. We've just added another 11. I think it's actually about 82. Wow. 83. Something. Wow. Well, if you're going to go for bodies, go for bodies properly, you know. Yeah. And we still haven't found Frankenstein. And is five missing? Uh, yes, there is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we found him and killed him, but it, the 
but you can't... No, 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 we found the shooting doji. Yeah, yeah, but the Bakamono show is it? What, no, sorry, what's the word for Hobgoblin is a Bakamono show? No, Bakamono. Uh, no, no, he's, he's a die Bakamono. Die, die Bakamono, uh, that's uh, it. As, as we, at the end of the last session, um, you had just heard uh, Nakamura uh, scream out. He um, escaped the jail. And she screamed at uh, King, I'm going to come and get you because you're a scuzzy bastard or something along those yeah. lines. No, uh, it turns out that um, this Onai and some men turned up and have freed uh, the Daibaki Mono and his seven accomplices. Mm -hmm. They don't, they've not actually killed anybody, but they've come pretty close. No, am I right in thinking that Daibaki Mono is to a Back and we'll know what basically what hobgoblin is to a goblin. Um, a, a, a bigger, badder cousin. Uh, he, he's closer to a, a bugbear. More, more like, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So it's still a a, a bigger. If you if you think of a, if you think of as an obakamono yeah. as a hobgoblin, right, but a okay. thicker one. Okay. Or 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 an obakamono could be a an ogre. A Daibakamono is an intelligent bugbear. Okay, okay. Got you. Oni, um, Ogre Magi, effectively. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's even... Or some or minor demon, your in, choice. In fact, the, the classic Dungeons and Dragons Ogre Mage come it comes from uh yes. the Oriel, Oriental Adventures setting, doesn't it? Yeah, so it's it's modelled on the Japanese kind of myth legend. Anyway. Right. Okay. Um, what happens is that the man in charge of the jail summons some trackers and they set off after these people because they've left a pretty obvious trail. And because she's so annoyed, Nakamura and Arimata set off after them as well. Are you retconning what they told us? Uh, no, no, no. It, it, this 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 large on I came in and beat people up. No, are you re retconning what they told us about the tracks? Which was that they got uh, went to the riverbank and, and got in a boat and, 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 and left. Yeah. That what? Yes. No, I'm not retconning that because we know where they've right. gone. We're going to try and find them on the other side of the river. But for that, we need a boat. Um. Fair enough. Uh, uh, as they leave, you see Arimata attempting to calm Nakamura down and stop going and doing something completely be stupid. But she's not having any of it. She realises she should have killed the, the die back Mono when she had the chance, even though it had surrendered. <sighs> Next, uh, next character token uh, st still wearing that green thing over him. <laughs> What's that? I, I, I will, I, I will comment to the next most senior uh, samurai. Uh, 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 would it be wise to wait for the delegation from Yedo before wait, it's a cloak, cutting off? Isn't it? Uh, sorry, you should have been on the prison map because that's where most of you are. The prison map. Look at this. Ooh, love a new map, Tim. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, very nice. I shall perform uh, healing uh, work. Basically, uh, most most of them don't need a lot of attention. They just need bringing round. Right. And as the the man in charge says, "Yeah, well, this large on eye came in and." Um, Oh, our weapons bounced off him. Yes. Most distressing. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm afraid it probably yeah, almost certainly magic. The demons of the mountains are devious creatures. Yeah, but why did it have to happen in my village? <laughs> I look outside at the large heap of bodies. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Your village is cursed, mate. <laughs> and, and say, I, I'm sure there is a deeper meaning, but it is beyond me, <laughs> I, I, I'm afraid. So. Uh, yes. There's more dead people in this village than alive now. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, no, no. The village had a population of 
five five to six hundred. Oh, really? And not everybody who's dead actually lived in the village. Most oh, a lot oh, of no. them are actually travellers. Yeah, okay. So only about fifteen percent of the population has died since we arrived. That's not too bad. <laughs> Yeah, you see, you, you've got the mark of death on you, haven't you? The lot of you. I think some of them oh, are already yeah. marked for death. Uh, uh, so, so, um, they were in, in, in the coils of the uh, the shoot and doji. Yeah, nasty business that. He says nasty business. Huh. Well, we better get this place tidied up, lads. Uh, his lordship should be arriving tomorrow. Um, uh, a witch a lordship. <laughs> I was going to say, he hadn't heard who. Uh, I, I believe it's Lord Morioka. Yeah, says the man. Bugger, <laughs> says, says the man who asked the question. It would have to be him, wouldn't it? Well, what have you got against him? I've got nothing against the devious sly bastard, except that it's a devious and sly bastard, that's all. You shouldn't be... No, uh, these good people will find out quick enough, he says. Better that they're warned of this man's sly, devious nature before he gets here and drops him in hot water. Uh, I, I, I may well need hot water um, after today's work, Sama. I, I, I say... Humbly. <laughs> right. Uh, you and you two, you can go on a quick patrol tomorrow, okay? Uh, sir? Well, I don't want you to make any comments like that while he's here, okay? <laughs> uh, yeah, well, because he'll have your head off faster than you can say blood boiling or something like that. He, he's not that bad, is he? If you offend him, then yes, he is. So don't offend him. The best way for you not to offend him is not to be here. So you're on patrol tomorrow. Uh, yes, sir. Can I go home and get ready then? Yeah, the three of you can clear off. And three of the men there disappear, looking relieved in some respects, but not totally relieved, you see. Uh, I will inquire as to whether I should uh, give any medical attention to the other prisoners before um, the Lord arrives? Uh, if they require it, then yes, yes. Uh, I'd prefer it if he didn't see uh, everybody bruised and battered, because he might consider that I'd done it. Okay, I will... Uh... Oh, you do do it, says one of the prisoners. <laughs> <laughs> it's the done thing with Japanese prisoners. Um... Only when it's necessary and you won't answer my questions. If you'd answered my questions, I wouldn't have had to beat your feet, would I? <laughs> well, I think you would have done anyway, because you like that. <laughs> I get ready this to... What, this is what I have to put up with. <laughs> Lack of respect from the prisoners. Anyway, uh, they, you tidy up the jail, uh, you treat the wounds and that. Yeah. Uh, all the Shigenjis can do it. Uh, and as you are um, tidying up, uh, two policemen dragging this uh, scrawny looking young individual who's dressed in, um, well, what it should be quite a nice average sort of garb, but he appears to be rolling around in the mud. Do I recognize him? Uh, no, you don't. Right, you have. Uh, what have we got here? Uh, drunk and disorderly, sir. Well, he don't smell as sake. Uh, no, sir, he was drinking some form of, um, self-distilled alcohol. You what? Oh, dear. Poisoning? You what? The moonshine. He, uh, he, he puts this, um, small keg uh, on the on the what's it uh, and it says sake on the outside spelt wrong it's s a double k i sake is that in hiragana yeah katagana or hiragana uh, i see in katakana 
Oh. Badly, badly written Katakana too. Righty ho. So, um, can I have a sniff and see if I can tell what it is? Uh, yeah, um, it's very strong alcohol. Right. But can I tell what it's distilled from? What is sake distilled from? Is it rice? Sake is yes, it's, from, it's a fermented rice, rice wine. wine. Yeah. Plum brandy uh, comes from plums, but this stuff. Hmm. Uh, roll a d20, sir. This guy's been fermenting dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't go down that route. <laughs> yeah, please stop. A 16. Probably not. What's my... Uh... My physician score is 15, so no. Uh, you're not sure, but it's not rice and it's not plums. Uh, well, I will tell them that. Uh, do I need to check him for poisoning? I would if I were you. I will have a look at him and see if he's been poisoned. <sighs> that is another d20 roll. Uh, which is successful this time. Uh, yes, he has. Whatever this stuff is, um, well, you're not sure anybody should be drinking it, let alone a frail-looking human. Uh, you look at Hatsu and Tetsu and you go, well, if you amalgamated those two and then split them in, in, in again, you'd get somebody like him. Mm. Right. I shall um, notify the samurai of my findings and ask if um, I should attempt to um, deal with the poison. If you'd be so kind, yeah. Okay. Uh, I think the first thing is to try a physician role. If not, I might have to ask permission to use one of the um, antidotes. So let's try another physician roll and see if that helps. If I need to get him to throw up. Well, that's successful. Uh, five effect numbers. Um, basically, he needs to sleep it off. Okay. If he sleeps it off, it, it'll be alright in the morning. He'll have a thumping headache and he'll need to drink Plenty of fluid, but other than that, it'll be all right. Right. Well, I'll try and get some water down him now, and and uh, tell the uh, the officer that uh, he just need he needs to spend the night in a cell, sleeping it off, and he will feel absolutely awful tomorrow. And I would suggest locking that stuff up to stop anybody else drinking it until you can find out what it is and who's making it, because it's dangerous. Uh, roll a d20 for 18. <laughs> uh, uh, nobody, no, nobody in the station knows what it is either. Ask the arresting officers where they found this stuff. Uh, he was carrying it, sir, and drinking from it at the same time, which is, you know, why we had to arrest him because he, he was weaving all over the place. He'd is have he been upsetting local? people's carts and stuff if they weren't careful. 
Or is he a local, basically, or is he a traveller? Uh, he looks like a traveller to you. He might even be a foreigner, looking at his skin colour. Hmm. Uh, well, the fact that he's misspelling Saki... <laughs> um, sounds extremely suspicious. If, if he looks like a foreigner, I will ask the sergeant to, or the officer, to keep a, a, a close eye on him. If he is a foreigner, he may be connected somehow with what's been going on. Mm -hmm. If so, the samurai will want him in good condition for uh, to be uh, questioned. Oh, indeed, indeed. Can you can you see the, the, the new token I put on the map? And can you see the name plate under it? Yeah. Uh, Zue. Uh, yes. Fair enough. Uh, right, uh, he had this stuff on him, uh, he says. Says the arresting officer. Uh, well, if I'm expected to look through it, I will. If not, then I won't. He's got a tan... Tanto? As far as I know, there's no law against carrying a tanto in this uh, campaign. Uh, a calligraphy set. A book on Japanese classic. And a scroll that's rolled up. Um, I will... Is um, Katsu there? Yes. I will ask uh, yeah. to if if he wouldn't mind checking whether any of there is any magic on any of this stuff as with what's been going on elsewhere around uh, here. Well, Hatsu will be upset if you call her him. Sorry, my apologies, Hatsu. I'll ask her to. Oh, um, Tetsu can do it as well. He's, he's capable. Um, well, uh, well either... if you want to try and detect the magic, go ahead. Yeah, I can. I will as well. Easily. Mm, uh, I'm not sure. Be not at our level. No, unless no, you're no, 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 no. Did not. That's it, though. Uh, there is a small amount of magic coming off the scroll. Uh, in that case, I would suggest having a look at the scroll. And... I okay, will... in that case, uh, Hatsu will recognise it as a scroll upon which is written a School of Soil spell. I don't know what it is yet because um, the player hasn't told me. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. In that case, I will warn the officer that it might be a Shugenji he has in that cell. Uh, well, you, you look you look at your two Shugenji and look at him and you go, well, yes. In which case, it might well be that the Saki is... Uh, that, that, that liquid was stolen. Because if if he is a Shugenja, I oh, must be a thief. And I'm... he and he has a calligraphy set. And then I look at the level of writing and spelling exhibited. <laughs> Either he's a foreign Shugenja, or that somebody else wrote that sign. I cannot believe it was him, unless he wrote it when he was very very drunk. <laughs> Well, even then, you'd still expect him to spell it roughly, right? Correctly, yes. Yeah. Uh, actually, I'll check the brushes in the calligraphy set. Do any of them match the um, the size of the, the script? Uh, no, they don't. Okay, in that actually, case... They, they hardly look used. In that case, I will oh. uh, 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 say that uh, he probably acquired the barrel from somewhere and it would be worth finding out from him where it was because we need to find the source of this and stop it. Okay. Right, um, 
e take. Can't have people having fun with untaxed liquor, can we? Yeah, you're not sure having that having fun is what you'd say when you're drinking this stuff. At the time, yes. Afterwards, definitely Maybe not. not. No, no, definitely not. <laughs> yeah, new definition of rock gut. Yeah, some moonshine. Some reindeer piss. No, thank you. Uh, anyway, if there's nothing else, uh, sir, I will return to my previous duties before the heap gets any larger. Uh, yeah, uh, and I will suggest, he says, that you have your clothes properly washed. Uh, yes, I, I believe I already mentioned that I, I would need that done tonight, and I was clearly on having a, a bath as well. Um, uh, I will suggest you can have it done now. Right out. Oh, oh and uh, watch out for, for Zue. He might well be vacating the contents of his stomach during the night. Oh, uh, the arresting officer says, oh, I don't think so. He's already done that. Mm, well, I wouldn't put it past him with that stuff. Anyway, I uh, shall... I well, shall... yeah, okay, yeah, we'll keep... Yeah, we've had the stomach contents. With... It'll be the stomach lining next. Ugh. Nick, are you... Uh, yeah, me. Okay, would you like to roll a d20 for eating? Okay. Six. Oh, can I go and speak to the uh, the other four priests, please? Uh, the other three priests. Sorry, the other three priests. My apologies. So, uh, I I will. Uh, let them know that Lord, um, what's his name, is apparently expected tomorrow, and it might be wise to prepare the bodies ready for tomorrow and have an early stop to um, have our robes cleaned and uh, get ready so that we are doing minimal dirty work tomorrow before he turns up. Uh, we'll It'll, do that. It, yeah, so uh, we, we will do that. So we might not get okay. as many funerals done today, but we will have everything ready so we won't get dirty doing them tomorrow. Okay, um, Ite is wandering around the village. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, when he, come across, uh, he comes across some tracks which are not human. Not human? Not human. <laughs> That's another one, please! Uh, they look animal or humanoid? Uh, they're humanoid, but they're not. Just one. It's just one. One entity. Apparently, it's just one set. Which way are they going? In or out of the village? This could be the Oni. Uh, the ones that you find are going out of the village. Okay. Uh, I will wander back, wander down to wherever the main group is. Uh, well, the last you heard, they were near the near at or near the. Okay, well, we'll get down there then. <clears throat> Knowing our demeanour and general um, problems, we're probably in jail by now. You can go to jail if you. Oh no no I've been I've been I I I'm off tidying up.
part of me wants to get after Nakamura and Arimata and see where they went, but I'm not sure. Oh, just Mike, we're gonna do that in a minute. Part of me right, wants as to do that. Ite approaches the uh, the jail or well, the building that Germany's housed him, um, he spots mm -hmm. the priest Guillermo hurrying off uh, into town, into the centre of the village, in the general direction of, of the burning pies, which are still there. Okay. Yeah. Right, uh, shortly after Guillermo has left, um, this scruffy looking, uh, hmm, not quite sure what he is, he's a peasant, we'll call him, uh, comes in and looks. You went quiet, Tim. Uh, you... Yeah, well, that's because I wasn't speaking, okay. Um, okay. Right, uh, Ite spots. Um, the Budoka Morikawa is not looking very well. Uh, the two Shugenja and Imagawa-san standing around in the foyer to the jail watching the uh, policeman tidy the place up. Looks like somebody's hit it with a, a whirlwind or possibly a tsunami. Oh, well, I will Frank Morikawa. Oh, Ite-san, what can, what can I do for you? Uh, I've just been having a wander around and I've just spotted some rather strange traps of some person or thing uh, leaving the village. But they may actually be, you know, I don't know how old they are, but we should at least know about it. Well, oh, thank you very much. Uh, excuse me, says uh, Imaga. Oh, whereabouts was this? Would you like to show us? Yeah, I'll show him, yeah. Make him a okay. Okay, he, he you you follow he follows you to, to the area, and then he look and go okay. And it's quite obvious he hasn't seen the tracks. I'll say, oh look, there they, they go up in that direction. You can see, hopefully pointing out where they are. Okay. Uh, yeah. I don't think either Hatsu or Tetsu have got tracking, have No, I don't think so. Let me double check. But no. I don't think so. Uh, do you have hunt? In fact, does Ite have hunting or tracking? I don't know. I have I hunting, tracking. but not tracking. Okay, uh, make a hunting roll then. Yeah, okay. I'd have fishing. <laughs> but the fish don't leave many traps on the land. Roll to six again, that does make it. Nice. Fix it by about four, I believe. I've got something I'm quite good at. Yes. Okay, um Well, you can you follow them out, out of the uh the village. And then they fresh? head off. Are they actually fresh uh, or old? Uh they're about as fresh as they can get. Okay. I'll keep pointing out where they go, but I'm subtly making sure that Emma Gow is in front of me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, well, he's quite happy to. Okay. Uh... Just, just behind him, pointing out where they go. Uh, right, well, you follow the tracks for about half a re. Uh, when you come across this uh, f farm labourer who's lying in the road, uh, unconscious. Oh. Let's uh, tend to him. Yeah. You haven't got Guillermo, have we? So I'll just look at the other guys who look a bit sort of vaguely priesty. We've got hats who can do some <laughs> healing magic. Hatsu, can you help this man? Badly hurt does he look? Uh, well, if it was any more hurt, he'd be dead. Okay, yeah, so I will. Bah.
Yeah, I'll cast pure, pure flesh on him, and, and hopefully, fingers crossed. Just made it. Just made it. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, you, you pump some healing into him, and he comes conscious. Oh, I made a decision. I, I think the scroll that you found on Zue is probably a uh, pure blood. And he's spelled to know. Is that like a pure disease spell? Yes. I think it's the one I want. Anyway, I, I said, got to talk to John about that. Okay, he comes round. Uh, he, he looks a bit confused and then frightened, and then he realizes that um, you're not what he thought you. Oh, I thought it was going to eat me. What was? Oh, the ogre. An ogre? Well, where did it go? Oh, yeah. Uh, what? Well, well, it went in that sort of direction. He says, pointing vaguely in land. But, yeah, he's got a cave, a bar, a re, over that way. It's hung on bone and he's basically pointing um, south, southeast. We've still got Yuko. Uh, Let's hunt them down if we do. Oh, sorry, you've got, you got Yuko. Yeah, uh, is she not not on them? No, I don't think so. Yeah, but that's our other uh, bushy, so... I think we should chase them down. This monster. That's if our fearless leader, Imagawa, and our other bushy... ...agree. One of the Morikawa's already in a bad way, so I don't know. I might want to go straight away, but these tracks are fresh. How healthy is everyone else? Uh, well, nobody's healed since you had the fight, so people are slightly injured, but not too yeah. bad. Uh, well, Imagawa says, yeah, well, we can't have a, an ogre this close to the village, so... Leave. And he dragoons the farm labourer into showing you where to go. Okay. Let's go, boys. And I hide behind I'll Imagawa. My, I'll string my bow. All right, ready. I'll prepare to cast my spell that never hits. <laughs> Like an oil stain on the floor. <laughs> yeah, I think it's meant to be a cloak. <laughs> Is it? Oh, it's like a pile of, like a pool of oil. <laughs> it does, but I think it's supposed to be a cloak, a green cloak <laughs> with a hood. I think. Ah, right. <clears throat> oh, don't talk about your character like that, because that's. <laughs> that's what it looked like on the, on the map. Okay. I can't even tell which way he's supposed to be pacing. <laughs> so the th it's a cloak and the thicker green bit is the back. He sees like holding out a sword in front of him.
So where the name is now is the front. Yeah. It doesn't have any uh, weapons other than it's the uh, bow on his back. Doing a map change. Oh, I feel the world shifting. Mm -hmm. Right, uh, those who are out chasing the, the Obakimono should now be on a map with a lot of bushes in them. Sure. Yeah. Right, in that case, you can see uh, a few yards in front of you a large uh, bakimono type figure with a large. Mm -hmm. A large club. I'll begin to cast my spell. Oh, we up here, okay. I'll move towards it and start getting ready to cast my spell. Uh, where's the peasant? Running away? Underneath that bush over there. Oh, what is that thing? That thing? That's probably the peasant. It looks like the thing from Fantastic Four. It is a bit uh, it, it, it's, it's actually a, a, some sort of rogue stroke fighter, but it'll do for your peasant. It looks like the thing for right, um, for absolutely. The, 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 the ogre uh, appears to be stacking up barrels onto a handcart, mm. which I've not put on. And he doesn't appear to have noticed. Oh, shoot him in the back, boys. I think I'm casting a spell. Can I make that roll now before we're in initiative? If nobody's like moving to do anything yet, Tim. I'm going to move. To activate back my. To the side, uh, well, smoking. basically, you move your characters, and I'll, I'll move. Uh, Marikawa looks reluctant to get involved in combat, so he's. Take cover behind a bush. Go. <laughs> Get everybody measuring and moving. <laughs> Tactics, boys. Yeah, sorry, my character shouldn't have moved there. I don't know how he got moved. Oh, uh, you're measuring. keen. I was just measuring the range and somehow he got back down there. <laughs> it's not that stupid. <laughs> uh, I was going to say, you're awfully keen. Stay there. Uh, Emma Gower charges forward, shouting, uh, and the Obakimono turns around looking a bit surprised, and then grabs his club. <laughs> right, um, first person to act is Emma Gower, who steps forward and chops at him. 
Let's go, Inagawa. Uh, I think I go first, actually, too. This is the honor charge because he's. Are oh, you going there. to shoot Ite san? I'm going to shoot him, yeah. <laughs> Put the arrow in the bow the wrong way around. As soon as, as soon as the GM rolls, banging rolls. Is this an Oni that we're fighting, is it? Uh, Obakimono, is it? Obakimono. Oh, it's an Obakimono, it's, it's an ogre. An Obakimono, yeah. so an ogre. An, an Obakimono, which is an ogre, yeah. Yeah. Big, big, very, very strong and tough. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Not as big and strong and tough as Imagawa, though. Well, we'll find out, won't we? <laughs> We're about to... Tim loves killing characters in this game. Yeah. No, I don't love killing characters, <laughs> I just do, because it's the way the game works. <laughs> yeah, well, sorry, Roll20, Dice loves killing characters in this game, let's get that Yeah, straight. that's the way they put it. Yeah, let's get that straight. In this time rolls dice, all the d20s are low. Right, uh, Imagawa steps forward and uh, EIs, uh, sorry, uh, hits the ogre with his katana and the ogre staggers back and goes Bruh! Okay. And uh, we then go down to anybody on 10. Oh, the Bakimano comes out of his daze going, ah! Myself will find a shit of his. Research and phase five. Uh, you've only got one primary action, haven't you? Yes. Tony? One action on a five. No, no, Nick. Oh, sorry. I've only got one primary, yeah. I've got two actions. Okay, all right. In which case, your, what you do on your secondary is load your boat. And on six, uh, Imagawa steps forward again. Go on, Imagawa. Ho, 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 
this next D10 is what happens on the crit, right? Uh, it's not. It's not the Obaki Monos. It's an oh no back in mono day. <laughs> right, uh, Imagawa follows up with a second strike. And takes another large chunk out of the uh, the ogre, who is not looking at all happy, but can't do much about. It. Right, uh, base action phase five. Okay, so I'm going to start casting my spell. I don't think it goes off this round. I think I just start casting it this round, don't I? Uh, make a wit saving. Oh no. No, don't do that because you're second level now, aren't you? Yeah. Yes. Okay. You can cast two darts at once if you want. But you roll to hit separately with it. Okay, so what am I rolling then? Uh, I've got to roll my BCS on my darts of metal spell to activate it first, yeah? Oh no, that's to actually cast it uh, and cast it at whatever you do. So Essentially, you automatically cast the spell unless I tell you otherwise. Ah, right, okay. So it's it, kind of how effective. You're taking that 11 I rolled before, you want another roll? No, no. That's a success then. Can I move one space and cast? The point is that casting spells is a base action and it takes up your whole round. Yeah. So you can't do anything yeah. else. So I can't move one. Okay. I know you can. okay, so that's I've activated the spell anyway. Yeah, and I get two per round now. Okay, roll to it with the second. So I get to, I, I get a roll with the second one, nice. Yeah, if yeah. you want to fire two, yeah. Uh, that will you only want to fire then. one, you don't. Okay, that's six points of uh, power lost. Rolled uh, 1d6 twice. Uh, or is it 2d6 for the damage? Yeah. Oofed. And so it's nine What's damage. You also get a chance of a thrust special effect. Do I? Mm-hmm. What do I roll? Uh, and the Obakimono normally gets a whip saving throw to avoid being hit, but <laughs> his chances are pretty low. Right, so what am I rolling then? And this is 200. for And this is for what special effect? Uh, 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 right, you do each dart does a D six lethal. Yeah. Okay, so the nine damage and I've rolled twenty six on a D one hundred. Right, yeah, you need to roll uh well first of all I get a witch saving throw to, to negate the damage. No. Oh. For no Bakimono? Yeah, much, much I. <laughs> uh, and you have to roll percentage dice less than or equal to the damage. Oh, okay. So I didn't roll under nine. <laughs> uh, uh, it's a very nice idea, but it doesn't work. Uh, right, we move down to base action phase two. Hey, I get to fire off my dirt spell. Yes. Let's go, Hatsu. One hit, one miss. Here we go, just like last time. So that's four points of power. Yep.
Okay, roll some dumb. Let's roll high, Brian. Let's get it. Uh, did he make his first strength save? Uh, well, j just roll your damage and I'll tell you what happens. Okay. Because you have to roll the damage for. Right, your dart impacts him, he staggers back a yard and then falls. Nice hat, sir. Uh, roll your 2d6 stun. Right, well, the fact that he's lying on the ground stuns, not going to do him any good. Yeah. Uh, Ite, would you like to have a shot at him lying on the ground? Uh, this is a new no, round. I'm, to, I'm going to have a look around and see if he's got any colleagues around. Okay, make a wit saving. Uh, <laughs> no, not even good. Well, uh, if he has, you can't see them. Made light work of him though. That was what, but nicely done. Uh, well, well, you should. In the first round, wasn't it? <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, yeah, Imagara critical him in twice. I mean, he should have mm. killed him outright. But... And I rolled nicely with my damage for once on that spell. Very so often the right. combat gods are in your favour. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, Ite can have a quarter of point of Budo and a quarter of point of On. At least try it. Atsu and Tetsu can have half a point of Shugendo and half a point of And Imagawa will have the rest, whatever that is. Nice one. I'll add that to my sheet now. Right, well, the Obo Bakimano is now dead. This uh, wagon he was loading, is it a handcart or...? It's a handcart, yeah. Well, it's a handcart for him. It's quite a large handcart. You could still push it. Uh, it's just going to be a bit harder work than a human-sized handcart. Is there, is, there, is there any tracks that would indicate where he was, he's been this route before? He seems to be in the middle of nowhere. Uh, yes, there are there are there are some cart tracks made strange enough by the cart that he had he was pulling or pushing, leading further off into the uh, hinterland. Is there still stuff stacked on the side that he hasn't loaded yet? Uh, well, there, there there are one or two barrels, yeah, kegs that are still got to be reloaded. Um, and, they, and they are definitely kegs containing liquid, are they? We just shake one of it. Well, well, when you go up to them, uh, they've got Starkey written S A W K I on the side of them, and they do contain liquid. Yeah. Uh, there is also a very large nail-studded club called a Tetsu. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, 
Right, this guy's clearly involved in your uh, in the moonshine operation. Moonshine operation, yeah. Moon yeah. Operation, yeah. It's, it's nothing else is a delivery boy. Oh, well, let's follow the tracks, says Imagawa, and looking at Ite. And check out his cave as yeah, well. Yeah. Uh, would you like to roll? Can you, uh, can you roll a d10 for me, please? You want six. Sorry, who was to roll that? Uh, last, last half of that, Tim. Uh, can you roll uh, a d10 for me, please, Nick? You need a six or. Roll a seven. In that case, the arrow you fired is is broken. Okay. So we've got plenty. Uh, uh, well, yeah, but the point is, it ammunition does count. Yeah. Well, I've got yeah. Well, you, you managed to follow, follow oh, the, the. Not diff. And you arrive at a small camp. Anybody else there? Go up. Anybody else at this camp? Is it deserted? Find out. Oh, yes, there are. Uh, there are six uh, men, uh, scruffily dressed, who appear to be attending. What is essentially a still. Yeah. Yeah. Here we have the so moonshiners. Yuko, Morikawa, circle round the other side. And you see them s sidle off and go around the other side and hopefully don't get spotted. Uh, you thought they might be, but they're not. And then at the agreed signal, um, Imagawa steps on and shouts, Surrender! The moonshiners look round in, in surprise and shock. Uh, <laughs> and um, I'm going to rob. Oh, like 13. Oh. Well, just hope that Danny Bailey isn't there. Uh, there is a shout of run, and the six men split off in different directions, all running away from uh, Are any of them in range to hit with a spell? Uh, roll a uh, 3d6, looking for six. Okay. Come on. There's a six. And as to your question, yes, there is. There's at least one. So should I roll Do you want D20? to try and look it over? Yeah, I'm going to roll some D20s. The 10 would be a hit if he is armor class. Uh, my BCS is oh, well, 14. Actually they both... So he's armor class 4. They both hit. Oh, if he's armor They're class 0, hit. yeah. Okay, nice. Well, we may not, we're armor class one, but we're running away, so we got back to you. Ah, right, yeah, they were both hit. So what do I roll? 4d6 damage? Uh, no, no, you roll 2d6, because you do. each of your darts does 1d6. Each dart does one, okay. That has rolled 4d6, because it's just my broken mouse pressing twice, so ignore both of them and I'll press again. Here we go, 6. Six damage. Okay, you may have half a point as you gain those out. Okay. Well, the two, the one who counted. Uh, 
You shooting at the one who shouted? Uh, if yeah, yes, I'd say if he was in range, then yeah. No, 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 no. Okay, go on then, Nick. Have a. All right, Nick is sorry. He is. Yeah, that might hit well hit him. Um, uh, that makes. Uh, well, you're getting you're getting at least plus five because we're running away from it. Okay, okay. So it's sorry, good. plus four because we're. A definite hit. So take four points of damage. Go big. Nice. Gonna go off you guys. He's just shooting people in the back. <laughs> no, no. In that not case, that. you can you can half half a point of a Budo then. Hey. The so one that was within range of me. <laughs> Join the fun. Uh, well, if, well, if there was one in range of, if there's one in range of uh, Tetsu, there'll be one in range of you. Yeah, we've got the same speed okay. movement. Both hit. Okay, do. Uh, you can have half a point, Shigendo, too, because your darts kill him. Is there any more insight? Which might be. I'll set off. Oh, after, oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Right, Imagara shouts out, can I have one alive, please? <laughs> I was trying to stun it, but... Leave one for question, then, yeah. Uh, and Yugo goes, I'll try, sir. <laughs> there were six of them, and we've just killed three, yeah. Well, I can't really expect that you'll kill all six. Eventually. Yeah, we want to keep one alive. So we're up to 85 funerals now. <laughs> really going off you guys. Yeah, that body count is just getting higher and higher. <laughs> Keeping you busy, you hear me? Guy that works yeah, the... none, th these guys are probably suffering from hangovers so won't, won't be any won't be wanting to stay on on earth as ghosts so i won't get any shigendo for the... doing the sagaki rights the guy that owns the <laughs> the guy that owns a shop that makes the embalming fluid and all the funeral stuff he's walking around with gold rings on just now <laughs> no 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 we we, we, we burn them the sagaki right is a pyre the guy, the guy that sells firewoods, walking around with gold teeth. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. I'm gonna try and capture one of them alive, and Et or Imagawa or Yuko gonna run after him. There's no, no point in me running after him. I can't catch a lame dog. Yes, and a bow isn't exactly a stunning weapon. <laughs> no. <laughs> right, uh, after your brief uh, set of spells and uh, arrows and that, um, the last one who's standing on his feet surrenders. Because he realises he's going to get killed, and when you examine the, these rather ill-fed uh, men, there are four dead and one other who's unconscious. Ah, says in my gal, good, good. Do we have any torturers amongst us? No. <laughs> Looks at ET with a. Half a glance. Right, uh, well, let's Is see. Is your family 
Gives you a very, very dirty look. <laughs> Big nose. Oh, dude. That gets you a very dirty look. Yeah. Because I gave him oh, the side. Oh, Tetsu a very dirty Yeah, because Tetsu gave uh, E.T. the side eye when you mentioned torture. <laughs> Saying that, I bet, uh, what's her uh, name? Right. Uh, basically, you, you advance on the camp and um, you can put the still out and dismantle it. Collect all the bits and pieces because they've got a proper cart with a horse. Well, uh... Oh, Creep behind this operation. Someone's got some money. Mm. When I can, I will have a little <clears throat> little sample of the goods as it were, to see what they like. Okay, a roll percentage. So you can work out what it is. It's yes. made of. And a small sample just to see what it tastes like. It's made of back in mono pace. <laughs> Road five. Uh, you've had better, but you've had worse. Hmm. Not too bad. Just to mature a bit more. Yeah, it, it's very rough. <laughs> um, uh, it's made from sea cucumber. Oh. Which would be an abundant resource here, eh? Yeah, it's a bit rough, but I've had worse. It's an animal, fact, a sea cucumber, you, you, isn't it? Uh, you find some sea cucumbers. It's an animal, a sea cucumber, isn't it? Like a fish, basically. Uh, I don't think it's a fish, but yes, it is an animal. Yeah, it is, it is a thing, like a, a, an in-the-sea animal. Not something like a fish, like an eel, or not quite a fish, yeah. No wonder it tastes strange. Uh, well, according to our friend Google, they are marine animals. They are marine animals. So they're animals. not actually fit. Yeah, okay. They look like a giant caterpillar in actual fact. Yeah. Like a, so I guess like a... So they're basically... They're... Sorry. Like a starfish, but instead of being a star, it's just a big long cucumber, eh? Yeah, it's a long, it's a long caterpillar-like creature. Yeah. Right uh, um, amongst the sea cucumbers, which look fre relatively fresh, um, you find some yeast and other ingredients for making this stuff, and plenty of wood for distilling the raw spirit. And you find some of that, and that smells remarkably like the stuff that. Uh, your Shugenja friend Zue was drinking. Uh, so it doesn't take too much in imagination to realise he probably came across this stuff and stole a barrel. Because he's like... Ooh, the thief. Uh, right, says Imaga. Uh, are you going to speak? Um, are you going to kill me if I... Well, we'll kill you if you don't. Uh, can you provide protection? You're trying my patience, he says, loosening the sword in his scabbard. Um, um, well, um, that man over there, he points to the guy who was the leader. Well, um, he had all the details, and all I know is that we have to go to, um, the mouth of the river once a month and collect what the Kappa provide. Kappa. Oh yeah, yeah. They grow the best sea cucumbers you can find. What's a Kappa? Uh, and what do you do with these sea cucumbers? Well, we ferment them, right? And then we uh, add some sake and we distill it and you get this potent, uh, potent uh, sea cucumber wine as we it. Sounds disgusting. 
Or in that case, uh, says Omega, why don't you have a glass? Um, well, I, I'm actually uh, a non-drinker, sir. <laughs> there he is. I suggest you take a shot. Otherwise, I can I can ask your friend over there. I know he's unconscious at the moment, but we can bring him round and ask him, and then I won't have any need for you. <sighs> yes, sir. When he goes out, he takes out a small glass from his uh, sack, one of the sacks around his waist, takes a small sample and drinks it, and then can one of you roll a d20? Seven. Okay, he manages to keep it down, but only just. I oh, see, it's that good. Well, it needs to mature, sir. No? Six months in the warehouse, and it'll be really, really good. Especially when it's flavoured with um, cherry. Are you telling me you're going to sell this as cherry wine or something? Oh, of course, sir. I mean, how else would you get the uh, the people to drink? Um, would one of you check these people for Irizumi? Mm. Yes, sir, says you. Uh, this one's got... Of what? Uh, uh, I think it's a scorpion. A scorpion? Yeah. What color? Oh, well, it's red, sir. Red scorpion. Do any of you know anything about the Red Scorpion Yakuza? Says Imagawa look. No. No. Sorry, sir, I don't. I've never heard of them, sir, says Morikawa. He looks at Eat. Are you with us, Nick? Yes, sorry, Tim. Just in the kitchen. I heard most of it. Okay, uh, do you know anything about Red Scorpion? You can... uh, well, there's only one gang that I might know about. <clears throat> I've left up and it's not the Red Scorpion, is it? In that case, I don't know. Okay. Well, unless you want it to be the Red Scorpion, but I suggest you... I don't have... I don't have any tattoos. No, no, that's all right. No, no. Not all you can do. I didn't last long enough <laughs> to get any. <laughs> <laughs> it kicked me out too quickly. Okay, uh... Morikawa. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, can you run back to Sutaido or any the next the nearest village that's got some meta? I know I'm come out here and clean this stuff up. Uh, only. Run. <sighs> the other man comes round and effectively he confirms what the first man said. Uh, is there any rope around here? It says. Uh, yes, sir, there's some over here. Well, can you tie them up? I can try, sir, says you can. Well, they may stay tied, they may not, we can't tell. All right, uh, Morikawa comes back about an hour later. He's got some etter in tow. He'll tidy up the bodies and... Um, back him on uh, the car? Put them on the cart, yeah, along with everything else. 
there. You then search and find the horse because, of course, it's, it's not actually in the camp. And then you bring it And you go. Well, that's a famous 1% horse, that is. Right, for those of you who don't know what a 1% horse is, each day it has a 1% chance of dying because it's that old and nag. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, and as has been happened, because it's actually out of somebody else's game, um, the party bought a horse, a 1% horse, one day, and on the first day they'd had it, it dropped dead. Uh. So they went back to the officer <laughs> to complain about it, and he said, well, I sold it to you as a 1% horse. The fact it's died after one day, that's your problem. So it's stuck. <laughs> anyway, you hitch the horse up, which takes a little bit of time because none of you, I think, know what you're doing. No. Nope. And you travel back to Sutaido, picking up the handcart on the way because you can tie that on the back. Did they find anything uh, in the Obakimono's cave? Because um, Oliver did what say. What, 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 what Obakimono's cave? Yeah, I mentioned we were going to look for his cave. Well, he hasn't got. I, I presume the peasant has, dis I presume the peasant has disappeared, has he? Oh, no. Why should he disappear? Because he was the one who said, uh, is it Obakimono who lives in the cave he over there? He said they have a cave. Oh, well, yeah, well, sorry, sir, I was mistaken. I thought he lived in a cave, because I thought it's what Obakimono... Ah, okay, so he didn't see a cave. Uh, you just assumed. Yes. Okay. He's very specific. Lives in a cave over there. <laughs> yeah, I think that was an accident. <laughs> he was having a little well, too much of the sake. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so effectively, he got the right direction. He, it's not a cave. He assumed it was a cave because oh, Bakimono live in caves, don't they? Like Bakimono North. Yeah. Sorry, this is my um, nasty, suspicious mind. I was thinking that he was another yakuza who who was kind of let, pointing the path. Uh, well, basically, he, he he will he, he will show he, he lowers his uh, top of his gi and he's got no tattoos. Uh, he, UK <laughs> no, no, checks no. his hair to make sure his tattoos aren't under his hairline, or they're not. No, 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 no. He does appear to be a man who was generally knocked out. He got a pigeon egg on the yeah. side of. Yeah. He does apologise for misleading Imagawa because he said, "Well, I thought you had a cave." Uh, and Imagawa is not such a mean and nasty character that he'd slaughter him for that. So, no. anyway, as you make your way back to the uh, village, okay, one of you roll three d. Uh, I can get it unless someone else. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, I'll roll it. Okay. No high, no low. Okay, uh, you, you pull onto the main road, okay? And you turn right to go back to Sutaido. And from behind you, you hear the sound of hoofbeats. Turn around and look. You get turn around, pound, pounding up the road are half a dozen men on horseback. They oh, are not. wearing the open mon, but more importantly, they are dressed in armour. Get out of the way. Get right out of the way. Oh, yeah. Oi, you lot, stop, says the man. Oh, no. And you, well, basically, Imago says, stop. Yeah. And they... Okay, what's going on? Uh, well, what do you mean? Uh, Obasan says in my gal. Bang. This, he says, pointing at the wagon and the horse and all that. Uh, well, sir, we, we've just uh, broken a, a still ring. A what? Well, smuggling ring, sir. They were smuggling um, alcohol. They were? Yes. He looks at one of his men. Check it out. And the youngest of them gets off the off his horse and wanders up to you. Oh, well, they've got what looks like a uh, brewing equipment, sir. And sea cucumbers. Um, what is that? What they are? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Says the peasant. Sea cucumbers. And that. Oh, uh, and um, 
apart from the two prisoners, they've got four dead. Uh, well, one of them at least is a Yakuza, Red Scorpion. I see. And the horse and cart and the handcart belong to the to them, not to you. Uh, yes, sir. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, we'll uh, we'll escort you into town. Certainly, so it says, and I'm the six samurai form up round you and escort you into town. It's not so much an escort as a guard, but uh, we'll be polite. You're not, you're not going anywhere, mm -hmm. apart from that way. Uh, Guillermo is the only person in town, isn't he? At present, yes. Okay. Uh, well, as you're coming into town, um, the leader looks at Morikawa and says, Shouldn't you be in bed, son? Uh, yeah, well, I'd prefer to be San, but um, I've not asked permission. You've not asked permission? Permission of whom? Um, Imagawa, sir. Oh, all right. Well, I suggest when you get back into town, you go to bed because you look like Death Warm. Thank you, San. I feel like Death Warm. Okay, uh, would Guillermo care to make a wit saving throw? I'd love to make a wit saving throw. Um, -dum 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 -dum. A twelve, which is probably not enough. No way. Oh, sorry, no, I rolled okay. seven. Yes, seven is enough. I made a wit saving throw. Sorry, I looked at the uh, roll twenty before it actually rolled it. I've got some sort of delay on You're looking about 3d6. <laughs> no, that's all right. That's, that's fine. Okay. Um, you are making your way back to the inn, having finished for the day. Finished early uh, for when the day, see, please. <laughs> when, you, when you see a strange sight, okay, yep. you see Imagawa and the rest of your crew, uh, accompanied by six mounted samurai, leading a horse and cart, to the back of which are tied two peasants and a handcart full of barrels by the looks of it and there's a hand flopping out of the back of the uh, the bed of the cart which would indicate at least one more corpse i say a small prayer of of, 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 of apology to the buddha for, for my thoughts <laughs> oh so and, and 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 i will point out several um the, the guys stop and the etta unload uh, four more corpses and bring them towards you. And the leader says, I'm oh, um, sorry, Bonds, but we have more work for you. With a bit more lead in his voice than uh, he probably should. Uh, if you wouldn't mind putting them at the end of the uh, the line over there, please. Um, oh, yeah, yeah the... we know where to take them, sir. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. Take a uh, number. Do, do we you have any uh, information on who they are? Uh, we, say, well, we, might, the... uh, we might do, sir, but I don't believe anybody searched the bodies for papers or anything like that. Yeah. Uh, please search uh, the bodies for papers. We would have done, but we weren't asked to, so we didn't. Please search the bodies for papers and try to find any identifying uh, information. Uh, okay, uh, you, in actual fact, you will find papers on them. Oh, good. Makes life so uh, much they easier. Are, the... uh, they are Red Scorpion Yakuza. And they are from Yokohama. You shouldn't imagine it actually says we are Red Scorpion Yakuza. On the paper on the... side, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> okay, um, but they're from Yokohama. As long as I've got their name, family name, and where they're from, then we can carry out the funeral. Okay, I shall go over and bow politely to the to the samurai and uh, 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 say, uh, say uh, that you will good, be. Good afternoon, Bond, says the, the uh, man in front of the car. Uh, good afternoon, Obasan. Um, uh, 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 might I suggest that you bring the officer from the jail in on this as um, looking at those barrels, uh, he has a connected case. <laughs> Um, is that... Uh, yes, by all means, we will do that. Is that adulterated liquor, or uh, kind of illicit liquor? Um, 
Well, he looks at him, Magawa. It is illicit liquor, is it? Oh, well, as far as I'm aware, uh, Obasan, yes. Uh, well, the officer will be pleased to uh, close the, the, the illicit liquor um, distillation case that he has at the moment. Um, and uh, I will deal with your victims when t the, the appropriate time comes. I bow politely to Imagawa-san. Lost him temporarily. Him might be having um, problems with his... He's back. Problems with Discord? Sorry, that's my Discord dropped out there, or rather it froze. Yeah. It so what did you say, Dave? Uh, basically, I, I, I just said, um, speak to the officer. He'll be glad to solve the distillation problem, and I uh, bow to Imagawa-san and say I'll deal with his next victims um, in the appropriate time. Uh, take your time, says uh, Imagawa. Uh, after all, they're only Yakuza scum. Uh, um, any idea where they were sending this liquor in Magawa-san? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm concerned we might have other patients. Uh, no, actually, I didn't think to ask that. So he, he looks at the two men. Where was it going? Uh, the village of... Uh, Munikari, as far as we're aware, son. Munikari, says the Ogre, sound right? Yeah. This is uh, so he, he looks problem. at the, uh, he looks at the youngest samurai. All right, you, go tell Lord Morioka that there's a problem with illicit distillation in Munikari. Right? Uh, the guy turns his horse I, around I, I, and rides I, I, off. I bow politely and ask the samurai, could they give a name for who it was being taken to? Uh, well, we don't know. You know. Our boss did, but you've killed him. Well, let's check. Have you checked for papers? Not yet. Uh, I have Etta checking the four bodies for papers, uh, Obasan. Uh, well, okay. Um... But there may be others in amongst the uh, stuff in the wagon. Oh, well, basically, you will find the name of the merchant it was going to, which I haven't got. I'll give you that next. Okay. Uh, well, we'll uh, give it to the to the Ober Samurai to send on to Lord whatever his name was. Uh, Morioka. Uh, is he he the Lord of that village? Uh, 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 no, Lord Morioka. Uh, is one of the senior Hatamoto of the Daimyo. Is this I, the guy who's coming tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, and as I understand it, says the, the lead samurai, he's been sent here to sort this mess out, whatever this mess is. And it appears to be somewhat more complicated than we thought. Um, he looks at the other... Three of the other guys. Uh, go fetch the local... Samurai, um, Toshiaki is his name. If not, uh, Toshiaki, I believe, is the number two. Right, and the three ride off. Uh, we know that the local samurai has died fighting the Shuten Doji, do we? Uh, yes, you do. Yes, in that case, I will bow politely and tell uh, the lead samurai that uh, that that is the case, that there was a problem with the Shuten Doji and. Uh, Lord um, so and so Toriaki died fighting it. I see. Well, thank you for that, good bonds. Right, and then the whole lot of you head off to the jail where the guy in charge is a bit surprised when this samurai walks in, but he bows more deeply than uh, you would have expected. My lord. 
I understand that um, Toshiaki is dead. Uh, yes, my lord, he was killed by one of the servants of the Shuten Doji. How? Uh, a karma to the eyeball, sir. And into the brain. Where's his number two? Uh, his number two is out um, patrolling, sir, as you would expect. But, uh, well, I'm going to be staying at the Uh, the river view when he reports back in here have him come to see me certainly sir he can come as he is i don't want him messing about getting dressed up and that sort of thing uh as you wish son uh anything uh yeah uh, we ha we have um ownership of an illicit vehicle in fact, two illicit vehicles. Uh, brewing alcoholic beverages without a license. Distilling alcoholic beverages without a license. And selling what might be toxic liquor. Uh, is it illegal to be a member of the Red Scorpions? Because <laughs> that, that could be added to the charge. Uh, uh, well, indeed. Thank you. Thank you, good bonds. Yeah, and membership of an illegal organisation, namely the Red Scorpions. That's those two men over there, I believe. Certainly, sir. Now, what happened here, he says. Uh, we were visited by an Onai, sir. A what? An Onai, sir. Uh... That's the first I've heard of it. What well, is the first time he's appeared, sir? Oh, I suppose I'll have to let that go then. I really don't think much of the way this village has been done, he says. Wait till you get to the rest of it. I'm not I... saying that. I'm thinking to myself. Oh, dear. I understand oh, that. <laughs> right. Um, I, I was led to believe that there was a... Nakamura Samurai and a hmm, bodyguard? Pupil? Pupil. Uh, oh, yes, sir. Is the Nakamura Samurai still in, in town? Uh, no, sir. She left following the trail left by the Onai, uh, which went towards the river. How about the shooting doji hunter Seika and her colleague? Oh, didn't you pass them on the road, sir? They went south. Well, no, because if I had, I wouldn't have to ask about them, would I? Oh, well, no, sir. Out of character. His lordship is not going to be a happy man. Out of character, am I right in thinking that Seiko went after the five missing people? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, she's disappeared. And what, what exactly what she's doing, you don't know because she didn't say. But you can assume that, yes. Fair enough. I see, he says. Anyway, well, I'm going to the inn to get freshened up. Uh, if one of my men turn up, send them there, okay? And then get freshened up as well. Uh, and I'll leave you to deal with this. Thank you, son. The next hour or so is spent filling out paperwork. No. I will suggest politely to the officer that he do a quick report to give to the Oba Samurai giving the reason why the Oni was there because if he didn't know the Oni was there he might not know the Obakamono that was there and finding that out when uh, his lordship arrives might not be good politics indeed not anyway he, 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 uh, he goes away he starts writing while you dictate your report to that and uh you get away about evening tide. I'm going to when, go you, to when you leave the jail, the, the wagon and the horse and the cart and that aren't there. The two men are in jail.
Uh, I will also say to the officer, sorry, if if I've heard from the rest of them about the Obakamono being involved with the Red Scorpions and the Kappa, I will suggest to the officer at the jail that he doubles the watch overnight in case any creatures attempt to rescue the um, Red Scorpions. That sounds like a good idea, he says. So you wouldn't want to lose them before, and grumbling before. as overtime is issued. <laughs> overtime order is issued. Well, you wouldn't want to lose them just before his lordship arrives, would you? I go and have a bath and uh, um, get my robes cleaned. And yeah. I'd want to get cleaned uh, up as speak. well as up to today. Um, and I will speak yeah, that to... Yeah, a good idea. Uh, I will speak to Morikawa-san and make an appointment to see him just after sunrise tomorrow to see if I can do any better today in uh, healing his damage. Okay. do uh, you all, you make your way to your ver the various inns. I will congratulate uh, the rest of them on solving the problem with the um, uh, the liquor because that is very nasty stuff and could cause serious health problems. Uh, make a physician rules. Uh, the 20, 10, yes. Uh, you personally wouldn't drink anything that was made of sea cucumber. Of course not, because it's made from living living animal. Well, not so much that, but some sea cucumbers are actually toxic. Ah, oh, great. <laughs> In that case, I will write a note to the uh, the Oba Samurai advising the stuff be poured in, 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 in down down uh, uh, into a cesspit. <laughs> Pouring yeah, it well, into a river yeah. might be a no, bad they idea. They might do, but at the, at the moment it's being held in the evidence uh, warehouse. Yes, but for disposal, um, I recommend sticking it in a cesspit. <laughs> uh, well, I'm more likely to burn it, but still, anyway. Right, uh, uh, you make your way back to your your inn, okay? Uh, you're yeah. at the river view. Most of you are at the river view, along with uh, the Oba Samurai just turned up, which makes the place a, uh, a little more tense, not quite as free. Ite returns to the other inn in town, uh, which is the Bush, the Bush's Rest, and he has a nice, pleasant evening, hopefully. Uh, I shall sit and discuss some Buddhist matters with the other three priests. Um, I'm really missing spending time in a temple. <laughs> um, just real quick, Tim, how much will it cost me for a room in the inn for the night with a bath? Uh, well, party loot is paying for that. Oh, okay. okay, okay. But a, a bath will cost you an extra copper, sir. Or oh, two copper if you want one with fresh water. I'll take the fresh. How much should I knock off for? How much should I knock off for to, for tonight for the party? Basically, I'll take a fresh water bath if you don't mind. Okay, that's two copper. Um, you've got five uh, peasants and one Ronin. So thirty-five copper, sir. Here you go. Did you, did you reduce party funds? Right, uh, right. You, you, and your th the three priests are having a nice, gentle uh, discussion on the finer tenets of Bushido. When this uh, young lady, who's quite attractive, asks if she can join you. Uh, bow politely and uh, uh, look at the other priests. If they have no objection, then yes. Oh uh, no, 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 no! The the, the senior priest says. A young lady who wishes to join four old men like us? Well, please feel free. <laughs> she smiles. It's a bit strange, but she does sit. 
I then make your Butsudo roll. Ooh. Ah, not much chance of that. 15, I doubt it. Uh, Butsudo... 14. Missed by one. Is this, the, is this the Buddha in Avatar form? <laughs> Could well be. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. I mean, you, you don't know if you failed. <laughs> uh, uh, the two younger priests... Uh, soon drop out of the com conversation because it gets into areas which they're, they're not very familiar with. You're struggling uh, to follow the line of conversation, uh, which is how, to some extent, what you should do when you become a bodhisattva and how you should interact with the world and whether you should interact with the world or not. Uh, the senior priest, uh, he's, holding, he's doing a good fist of it. He, he, he's answering her questions and her points quite well and asking her some better ones. But in the end, she asks him a question uh, to do with uh, how to uh, convert a kami into a Buddha. And he just looks at her blank and goes, well, I can't answer that. Oh. Well. I shall visit you again, good bonds, when you can, she says. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, ma'am, but I don't... Oh, I'm sure you will, she says. She again gets up and bows politely to you all and leaves. Uh, I bow deeply to her and thank her for her enlightenment. Okay. Uh, you may have... All things to think about. You may have plus 5% but pseudos. <laughs> Righty ho. Uh, excuse me, says the youngest. Who was the older priest? Says, I don't know, and I'm not going to ask the question of whom she was because I'm not sure I want to know the answer. I don't follow you. Uh, the elder priest calls for a piece of paper and he, he writes something down on, on, on the piece of paper. Make a wit savings race. Mm, you don't. Uh, my wit is nine. Three. Oh no. No! I rolled a one. <laughs> well, of course you did. Uh, the, the older man writes down on the uh, piece of paper two symbols. One is Kuan and Bosatsu, and the other is uh, Benten. Okay? Mm -hmm. And the young lad looks at her and goes, and the older priest puts a hand over his mouth to stop him saying anything. Mm. wish to be incognito, so we'll leave it at that, okay? Yes, Sensei, says the the older man then eats the piece of rice paper he put the they put the symbols on, and then swallows uh, some water to wash it down. The, the other priest says, "Well, surely if it was the second one, ah, no, I, no, I see. Yes, I get you. Yes." I'm with you. Well, I'm glad of that. I thought I'd taught you quite well. But it couldn't be something to do with that um, apostate priest Togaru, could it? What? Where'd you get that from? Well, isn't he uh, a man who has synthesized the two faiths into one? Um, I suggest you go and say the Holy Catechisms 20 times before bed, says the old man. We're not having that spoken about in here. And he takes another drink. Only this time, it's not water. Okay. 
Well, I will ask if there is any reason why um, uh, a, 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 a being devoted to Shinten may not achieve enlightenment um, in the Buddhist way. If they follow the path that the Buddha's laid out, even though they may believe in the in the in the path of Shinto, is there any reason why they could not achieve enlightenment? Oh, well, as far as I'm aware, no, no reason at all. However, if the ladies is who I think she was from that side, then of course she is the lady of fine arts and she would understand our philosophy quite possibly better than we do. Hmm. Uh, certainly better than I do, sir, sir, I'd say. Well, I'm better than I do too, and I thought I was reasonably good, he says. Ah, indeed, sir, but she is certain you will get better. So I was just making note of the, quote, the, the, the uh, quest I've just given out. <laughs> what was, can you just, I know I wasn't there, but just for my notes, what was the symbol she wrote, uh, the priest, older priest wrote on the paper? Uh, right, the first one was for Ko Koanan Bosatsu. I shall put the names in the uh, oh. chat so you can know what they are. And the second one was for Ben Ten. Koanan Bosatsu is one of the Buddhist... Um, Deities? Well, it's not really deities. She's someone who um, has achieved an uh, 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 enlightenment, but decided to remain linked to the material world to help those who haven't achieved enlightenment. Like a prophet. More like a um, prophet of the religion. Well, it's to, it's to help the rest of us get to where they are. So um, they they help humanity against those who would prevent them getting enlightened, like the various demons. Yeah, and Kuan and Boat Bosatsu is one, and Benten is another. No, 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 no. Benten is a Shinto deity. She is a spirit. Uh, one, she's one of the seven fortunate gods. Okay. Um, well, uh, ben Ten, as I put in, in in the chat, is the is the goddess of love and the arts, fine arts. Mm -hmm. She's also, arguably, a, a fertility goddess, although that's a lesser aspect. Whereas Kuan and Bosatsu is the Buddhist version of the fertility goddess, okay? and she is the only female Bosatsu that generally occurs in, in Bushido. So she's very odd in that sense. Yeah, she's goddess of there, mercy, basically. And uh, she's called her real her name is Kuanin, but she, she is a bosatsu, which is an enlightened Buddhist being. Okay. So these are and we deities or uh, ma, demigods, demigods or avatars demigods of demigods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yes. so this older priest thinks uh, that she's one of the one of the two of them, either a Buddhist or a Shinto one, and she's talking well, mad well, this, about Well, the real point, the, the, the priest thinks that, that the lady was one of these two, right? Because there is only one female Buddhist bosatsu, that's Kowanen, and the person best placed to discuss the sort of things they were discussing would be Benten, because she has full knowledge of, of Butsudo. I mean, there are also, others, but he doesn't want to think about that because that makes it even worse. Yeah. Also, the final question she asked him was something that it was more likely Benten would have asked. How would a Shinten spirit, Shinto spirit become a Buddhist spirit? Was it, you know, was it possible? How, how could it happen sort of thing? And she's given him effectively 
a quest to find that. So he may find himself um, <laughs> working o along those lines. Either that, or, right. may, I may, or I may have been given that without realizing it. Right. For start, uh, would Guillermo roll a d20? <laughs> I uh, have you got, sorry, before you do, have you got your full power back in? I yes, want. I do have my full power back. All right, in that case, uh, roll a d20, but it's for something different. We're still on the right fifth of yo yo, -yo aren't we? Uh, 19. Well, whatever it was, I think it failed. Okay, um, you're just about finishing up uh, when this uh, young serving lad comes up to the oldest of the three priests, who's not Guillermo, and the youngest, and hands them both uh, a preserved cherry blossom. Uh, who left this? Uh, the lady you just left, sir, she said I was to give one to you and one to this gentleman. Thank you, he says, and he hands him a copper coin. And the little lad looks shocked. No, copper coin? Yeah, that's for you. Thank you. I have a feeling, he says, looking at the, the youngest priest, that you and I are going to have uh, the abbot for leave of absence uh why sir and he the eldest priest sighs and guillermo's getting to realize that the youngest priest is possibly not the sharpest knife in the drawer because baku I have a feeling that if we were to look at this in a magical sense, this would be a Gaius item. A what? We have been given a quest by the lady who just spoke to us. Uh, to do what? I shall explain that when we get back to the temple and I'm talking to the abbot. Oh, all right then. Well, I won't have a drink. No, you won't. Uh, water, says back. Water, yes. Oh, I thought you were meaning something. Oh, uh, well, I'm not supposed to drink that, am I? Uh, no. I... And when Guillermo I'm... takes a bit, bit closer look at this Baku fellow, um, should we say he's got more muscles than a priest normally has? Fair enough. Uh, I shall uh, uh, wish the senior Bonds well on his mission for the lady. Slightly question, question mark. And uh, ask if there's anything I can do to assist in, in them starting it. I mean, if, the, if if they feel it's urgent, then um, uh, well, it, it, myself and the other priest can complete the, the funerals. Oh, no, no. Uh, it, I don't think it's urgent. Otherwise, I'd, uh, I think I'd have been told to go and do it now. Um, if you kindly accompany us to the Silver Temple in Kogo when we leave, you can back up my story when I tell the abbot. Certainly. Uh, well, the abbot's never going to believe you, says the priest who's not going <laughs> well, that's true. That's why I want I, I want an independent witness. Uh, well, I'm not quite sure that Guillermo counts as a totally independent witness. Well, I'm why... not a member of the temple, I point out. Well, uh, uh, we were sent here on to help Guillermo, weren't we? No, that doesn't count. He's not a member of the uh, of our temple. Well, well, we'll see. Uh, And he looks like he's going to say something else, and he stops and says, mm, no. Fair enough. Okay, well, I will suggest that we all get an early night, because if um, uh, 
Lord, is it Morikawa? What's his name? Um, Morikawa, Lord Morioka. It's Morioka. M-O-R-I-K-A. Morioka. Uh, if he's arriving tomorrow, then uh, uh, I think we ought to be well underway with the, the, the day's events when he arrives. I agree. Uh, and there you go. Uh, the rest of you are in the inn. Um, you're not in the quite in the same uh, dining room that you were, because that's been taken over by the samurai. But you are aware that um, Guillermo and the priests had a visitor who was um, far too good looking to be a priestess, you would have thought. And it appears to have been a bit of a com- Oh dear. Lost him again. Lost him again, yeah. Yep. He's back already. Good. And away again. And gone away. And back and again. And back again. You okay, Tim? No, Obviously not. not. Dropped out again, gents. And yeah. you're back. Indeed. So, as I said, uh, you all go off to bed. Uh, if you wish to talk to Guillermo, you can. And whether he'll tell you what happened or not, I don't know. That's down to know. Uh, and then we go to Ite in um, the other inn. And you're getting ready for bed, or well, maybe in bed. Uh, when you hear an argument in the room next door to you. And one man who's, who's the one who's entered the room uh, is berating the guy who's there for making a mess of things. And the other man quite calmly says, lower your voice. Quiet. So I'm writing something down, that's all. He says, lower your voice, Hasaka. We don't want the whole inn knowing our business. And the other man says, I don't care what our business is. You've made a mess of it. I'm not asking you again. Lower your voice. What are you going to do? I'm not lowering my voice. Uh, not another hear, customer. 
you hear um, the rasp of a sword coming out of a scabbard, followed by an <coughs> followed by another <coughs> and the voice says I want a maid please and this what you hear this thing yes sir um, clear that mess up and I want another room And Ite hears the maid uh, throw up. Now you've got to clear that mess up as well, you stupid woman, he says. 87 and counting. <laughs> uh, you hear the innkeeper? Uh, well, it's a problem, sir. Um, there's a mess in my room that needs cleaning up, so I need a new fresh one. I want to try to get eyeball on this guy at some point. When he leaves the room or whatever. Oh, he's out in the corridor at the moment. Okay. I should go into the uh, corridor. Okay, you step out into the corridor. Mm -hmm. Are you trying to be stealthy? No, I'm just going to... I can hear all the noise. I'm just going to get a step out in the corridor and see what's going on. <laughs> okay, uh, the guy who's making all the noise uh, gives you a brief look. Um, for a Japanese man... He's enormous, okay? Mm -hmm. um, he's a good six foot tall and about six foot wide. More importantly, he's got a big bushy beard. Okay. Uh, do you have any uh, heraldry? I think I am. <laughs> well, I know what you are, but, you know. Okay. <laughs> um, I don't get I want... the option of having to now. Uh, is some for, is some form of Ronin. Uh, well, Asiba san um, I'm sorry to say, but the inn is full. Um, what do you mean full? It wasn't full when I, I, I first booked in here? Uh, well, it is now, sir. Uh, we had an Oba Samurai come over and book all the unoccupied rooms. What? Well, where am I supposed to sleep? Well, I understand your frustration, son, but if you hadn't killed a man in your room, there would be no need for you to change it, would there? And uh, the Asiba, Ronin, his hand goes to his sword. Please don't draw that sword, sir. And why shouldn't I? Because I don't allow it in my inn. Well, this is the old retired look? adventure. This is the retired adventurer sis, uh, system, isn't it? It is. Uh, <laughs> in fact. I no longer want your business here. Leave. And he, the innkeeper claps his hand. And in no time flat, there are three other guys who are armed with um, clubs. And what if I don't want to leave? Then me and my men will club you unconscious, strip you of your goods, and throw you out in the street naked. And possibly the man stood behind you would enjoy helping us as well. He says, point at Ite. <laughs> That's another dirty look coming someone's way. Uh, have it your way, he says. says you see Baroni. He collects his stuff, uh, stepping over the blood and the vomit. Uh, you two, make sure he leaves. Uh, what happens if he doesn't? Oh, beat him unconscious, strip him, take his goods, and throw him out in the street. That's what I said to do. Hi. Uh, my apologies to you, ladies and gentlemen, he says, because all the people come out of their rooms, um, for that unseemly behaviour. Uh, your room will be free for tonight. Lots of people going, wow, thanks very much. That's, that's generous. 
I knew he was trouble. Oh, how did you know that, father? Says one of the young He's got a beard. Only people who are trouble choose to hide their faces with beards. <laughs> <laughs> Ite realizes, sorry, the young lad scratches his chin and Ite realizes he's got the beginnings of a beard. Yeah, and you can shave that off too. Yes, yes, father. So in the morning, Guillermo finds there's a, another man who appears to have died overnight. Good to, uh, hello, oh, if you very good. Him, I'm going to follow up a trooper. Mm -hmm. We're, oh, up okay. to 80, we're up to 87. Where we <laughs> How many days do we had actually clearing things up? Oh, oh it's getting it's getting better. You've only got five bodies today. Only five today. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know. Only well, yeah, fine. But we correct me if I'm wrong. We've had two solid days um, of, of, of of funerals. Then a third day where we stopped early for cleaning. Is that right? Or is it only one day of funerals? Oh, no, you've had two full day. days and a half. Half a day. Okay. So 24, 48. So we've dealt with 60. So we're keeping ahead of things at the moment. Now, be careful there. That's a at challenge. At the moment, I said. At the moment, I said. <sighs> okay. Um, make a definite saving throw unless you've got Shinobi Jutsu, sir. Me? Okay. No, Nick. Oh, him. All oh, right, fine. Uh, that's not going to make either of those. They're close. There's not many of them. Uh, uh, well really then, them. so you do have Shinobi Jutsu. I do indeed. And now, okay, in that case, make a deafness saving. Sorry, a speed saving throw then. Which you, you might still make it. Seven, that will make my speed saving throw by a loads. No, sorry, by one. Sorry. That's loads. Okay. Um, the route he takes means uh, hiding it, hiding in the shadows. That is difficult. But you do manage to follow him. Okay. Uh, and he, he ends up at this uh, warehouse down in the docks district. Uh, which is called Fumata Anko, and he beats on the door with the hilt of his sword. And after a few minutes, the door the door opens and says, "What do you want?" Somebody. Oh, this voice says, "What? Do you know what time it is?" And Asiba says, "Yes, I do. I've already killed one man today, so get out of the way." Ah, oh, God, who let you out? And. The, the the watchman, when you listen, you assume it's the night watchman, steps to one side and the Seba goes in and the door is shut and you hear the click of a lock and the rattle of a bar, which is a bit belt and braces if you ask me, but that's the way it goes. Right. I'll wait about 15 minutes just to make sure he doesn't leave. Oh well, um, put it this way, he doesn't leave through the front door. Okay. Fair enough. And you minutes. return to the inn? Yep, yeah, after I assume he's not leaving, so I'll return to back to sleep. Uh, it's coming up to half past four, so I'm going to stop there because I need to go away and generate some of this mess I've just landed myself with. Nice one. But thank you very much, Jess. That was great fun. I hope we all enjoyed mm -hmm. it. Thank you, Tim, for the game. Yes, yeah. Right, you can all have uh, another point of on because I've enjoyed myself. Hey. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you.